Jesus Christ, the Lord of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. Good morning to you all. Good morning, Father. Uh, at this Mass, we are requested to pray for, for the repose of the soul of Elizabeth Melanick and also of David Campbell. Are we? To pray for his healing. Yes. <laughs> okay. Amen. Amen. Don't scare me at this point. I know. <laughs> just pray saying. for his healing. And for healing for all those who are sick, our members here, those who are at home, and those among us. We continue to ask God in his mercy to touch him and bring his healing upon each and every one of us. Amen. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we are sinners in need of God's grace. Let us therefore take a moment. Recall the times we have failed God and failed man. Let us be sorry for those times as we ask God for his pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord have mercy. Lord have, Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus. You give us yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. And may the Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing. Grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and rests with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. When Athaliah, the mother of Hahaziah, saw that her son was dead, she began to kill off the whole royal family. But Jehoshaheba, daughter of King Jehoram and sister of, of Ahaziah, took Joash, his son, and spirited him away, along with his nurse, from the bedroom where the princes were about to be slain. She concealed him from Athaliah, and so he did not die. For six years he remained hidden in the temple of the Lord, while Ahithelia ruled the land. But in the seventh year, Jehoiada summoned the captains of the Carians and of the guards. He had them come to him in the temple of the Lord, exacted from them a sworn commitment, and then showed them the king's son. The captains did just as Jehoiada, the priest, commanded. Each one of his men, both those going on duty for the Sabbath and those going off duty that week, came to Jehoiada, the priest. He gave the captains King David's spears and shields, which were in the temple of the Lord, and the guards with drawn weapons lined up from the southern to the northern limit of the enclosure surrounding the altar and the temple on the king's behalf. Then Jehoiada led out the king's son and put the crown and the insignia upon him. They proclaimed him king and anointed him, clapping their hands and shouting, Long live the king. Athaliah heard the noise made by the people and appeared before them in the temple of the Lord. When she saw the king standing by the pillar, as was the custom and the captains and trumpeters near him, with all the people of the land rejoicing and blowing trumpets, she tore her garments and cried out, Treason, treason. Then Jehoiada, the priest, instructed the captains in command of the force, bring her outside through the ranks. If anyone follows her, he added, let them die by the sword. He had given orders that she should not be slain in the temple of the Lord, she was led out forcibly to the horse gate of the royal palace, where she was put to death. Then Jehoiada 
made a covenant between the Lord as one party and the king and the people as the other, by which they would be the Lord's people and another covenant between the king and the people. Thereupon all the people of the land went to the temple of Baal and demolished it. They shattered its altars and images completely and slew Matan, the priest of Baal, before the altars. Jehoiada appointed a detachment for the temple of the Lord. All the people of the land rejoiced and the city was quiet now that Athaliah had been slain with a sword at the royal palace. The word of the Lord. The responsorial song. The Lord has chosen Zion for his dwelling. The Lord has chosen Zion for his dwelling. The Lord swore to David a firm promise from which he will not withdraw. Your own offspring I will set upon your throne. The Lord has chosen Zion for his dwelling. If your sons keep my covenant and the decrees which I shall teach them, their sons too forever shall sit upon your throne. The Lord has chosen Zion for his dwelling. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He prefers her for his dwelling. Zion is my resting place forever. In her will I dwell, for I prefer her. The Lord has chosen Zion for his dwelling. In her will I make a horn to sprout forth for David. I will place a lamp for my anointed. His enemies I will clothe with shame, but upon him my crown shall shine. The Lord has chosen Zion for his dwelling. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom in heaven. Hallelujah. Do not store up for yourself treasures on earth, where moth and decay destroy, and thieves break in and steal. But store up treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor decay destroys, nor thieves break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. The lamp of the body is the eye. If your eye is sound, your whole body will be filled with light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be in darkness. And if the light in you is darkness, how great will be the darkness be. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning to you all. When Jesus said, if, you, if your eyes are blind or dark, your interior will be darkness itself. And what a pity it, it, it is for you. How darkness, how dark, how dangerous, how bad your interior will be like. Just take a moment as a child of God. Close your eyes. You know, it's not just just closing tight. You can see with your mind how dark it is in there. So you are looking at me and say, close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> if for you to understand what Jesus is saying, you know, like, just close your eyes tight, squeeze it tight. And then you, you will see the darkness. That's the only time you can see darkness. Do you understand what I mean? If you do it, you will see. Now when Jesus says, if, you, if your eyes are dark, that is, you are blind to the truth. You are blind to whatever is good. And behold, you will be what? Internally 
not just displaced, but angry, obsessed. He will be, I don't know how to put this. It's just like someone, when the Lord says, if your vision is, if your eyes are good, your vision will be wonderful. Yes, because if your eyes are good, you will see everything good. But when your eyes are bad, you will never see anything good. And that is why when you see some people on earth, every day of their lives, they are complaining about something. And they are not appreciating anything. They will never say anything good about anything. And that is why they are always worse. Sad. Such people, you will never see them smile. Because there is always a reason for them to be angry. For them to be sad. For them never to say anything good about any other person. Do, do you understand? There are people like that on earth. And that's why Jesus today wants us to come away from such, uh, such actions. Come away from such reactions. To know that happiness is an inside job. It's an internal thing. It doesn't come from outside. Whatever that brings you joy from outside is temporal and does not last. And it's not the source of your joy. And that's what the Lord is reminding us today. What is the source of your happiness? What is the source of your life? What do you delight in? And that's why he asked the question, what is your treasure? Where do you have your treasure? For where a man's treasure is, also there is himself. There is his heart. There is his attention. There is his whole being. And Jesus is asking us to store up treasures in heaven. But Jesus is not asking us not to work hard on earth, to make our money, to live comfortable lives. No. Great. That is not what God is telling us. And God is telling us to be strong and to work very hard so that we might enjoy the life he has given us. But then at the same time lose that we should be spiritually strong, relating with God and him at every moment, that we do not lose sight of God. That in the pursuit early, of our daily lives, KJ, that we do not lose sight of God. Skip. Now we struggle every day to make ends meet, to put food on our own table, for those of us who have finished training our children to make sure that we have our daily sustenance. But then let us remember that this daily sustenance of ours is not just by, by, by our own making, but do not by the blessing of God. Psalm, Psalm 90 verse 17 brings it out clearly. It says, Lord, grant success to the work of our hands. And that means if the Lord does not bless the work of your hand, you cannot be successful. Your toy on earth will be a waste. So we do not delight only on the things of this world and place our hearts there. I think I said this sometime, you know. Um, it's just like somebody who has, for the first time, many of us remember, the first time we bought cars. I used this analogy here sometime in the past. Am I right? You have forgotten. I don't, I don't you have forgotten. Uh, let me remind you. <laughs> you know, just like the first time. Luz, I remember when you bought this red car, right? The, the, the truck. That night you didn't sleep. You were so much joyful, right? You woke up in the morning to go open it and see the car is still parked there. <laughs> Many of us who bought cars the first time, you know, there is a joy that accompanies it. Am I? Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes. Now sometimes you are sleeping. You are just dreaming. And you, know that you just sleep like a baby. When you wake up, and, did you guys see the, or you just turn up and look at the key. That's the joy of my car. <laughs> sometimes it is like that with us. But God wants us to delight in that too, but not to put our whole hope and our whole being on that. Yes, it is a worldly treasure. But then let us remember that in that only treasure, for it to last, we need to go back to the source of its blessing. Do you understand? That we pray to God every day, we'll be joyful. That we do not let anything derail our relationship with God. 
That when we wake up every morning, we thank God before we plunge ourselves into our daily activities. God has blessed each and every one of us, Lulu. And He has blessed us with a lot of things in life, Teresa. That we, at every moment of our lives, need to work hard to keep God in our sight. So that our heart does not be, be kind of debased, our faith, our joy, our life, our relationship, our thoughts, our everything must not be based on the temporal things that pass away. That is only one thing that lasts. Our relationship with God, which is begun here and keeps moving on until we go to meeting and our spiritual nature takes what is precedence over this material and corporal being. My brothers and sisters, what gives you joy? What do you delight in? Where is your treasure? In as much as we delight in going to parties, hosting, wearing good clothes, let people see us. Let us delight too in piling treasures for ourselves in heaven. How do we do that? Prayer, good works of charity, good works of love, thinking about others for their good. And just to say that, okay, let, let me say it now. I want to thank you very much, you know, for, for the love. Father Joseph, you know, was talking to me yesterday and he said that I've never seen this love. I've never seen this love, you know. It's, no, I, I won't say there are many. But you know, you, you, made, you made me feel proud and you made me feel so happy. That is what God is asking us to do. To touch the lives of others positively. To touch the lives of others that when they leave, they remember you. When they pray every day, they pray for you. And they wish to see you again. That is what Christ is asking us. That is the soul. That is the foundation of our faith. The soul of our actions on earth. We pray today, my brothers and sisters, that we may always seek for the things that last. And God will take glory and bring us everlasting peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now rise and bring our needs and our joys to the Lord. Our Pope, Bishop, Ashton, Terrence, Tim, may their work and prayer be blessed and be prompted. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the leaders of our country, may their service to their people be generous and unselfish. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all of us worshiping here, may our understanding and love of the Eucharist be deepened and strengthened. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For teachers and students, may their time in school bring them ready and eager for new adventures and learning and living. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the hungry, the homeless, and the unemployed, may we do all we can to give them and help their need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick and dying, for drug and alcohol addicts, may they receive the healing they need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who have died, may they be raised up to the glory of God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For your own personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God our Father, we join. We come before you, begging that in your mercy you will help us to store to our treasures in heaven through good works. Forgive us for the times you have failed to love you in others and reach out to you in others. Bless us. Heal our weaknesses. Heal our illnesses, Lord. Come to the aid of those who are in need of your help. Hear our prayers for one another and for ourselves and grant us what we ask in faith through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, through your goodness, we have this bread to earth, which then has given us human hands and faith. May become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, 
and work of human hands. May the conference our spiritual bread. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased to the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and a contrite heart. May the Lord wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of your name, for our good and all of our Amen. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food, and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, come us. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Daniel our Archbishop, Show this auxiliary and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph and spouse, 
Ou de blesser l'apostle sans sens, c'est Paul, c'est Paulinus of Nola, c'est Ignatius, c'est Anthony, c'est Pimbers, c'est Christopher, c'est Elisabeth, c'est Veronica, c'est Cecilia, c'est Anne de Beaupré, c'est Josephine Bakita, c'est Lucy, c'est Monica, c'est Veronica, c'est Martha. And all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be good heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And the Savior's command, that formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the joy and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Now let us share a sign of peace with each other. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Brothers and sisters, behold him, the light of the world, Jesus Christ our Savior. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those of us called to this supper of the Lamb. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to eternal life.
There is one thing I ask of the Lord. Only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just to remind us, tomorrow is Saturday. Uh, I saw my kids behind and they reminded me of something. Um, we have the car wash, the youth, the youth car wash tomorrow, right? So please, just bring your car, whether it is dirty or not. Bring it here, they'll wash it. They'll wash it, they won't charge you. Just give them something. Do you understand? Yes. Just bring your car, you know, and advertise it. Then I'll be here taking roll calls of those who will come. Because <laughs> my car will be the first to be washed. <laughs> I promise you. And I will just make sure I stand outside. And one of the things I'll promise you is this. I'm going to do the washing with them. To encourage them. And I will want you, parents, bring down your car or your cars. Bring them down here. Let's make them clean for you, you know. At least when Father touches it, it will be blessed. It will be a blessed car. And then you dip your hand in your pocket and you say thank you. Don't pay, just say thank you to the youth. So that we can raise enough money and go for the NYC program. Okay? Yes. The Lord be with you. Yes. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The mass is ended. Let us go in peace and love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have a great day and a blessed weekend. Thank you. Christ hears, 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 Christ h
God's Son, Redeemer of the world. God, the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father. Heart of Jesus, born by the Holy Spirit, the womb of the Virgin Mother. Heart of Jesus, substantially united to the Word of God. Heart of Jesus, of infinite majesty. Heart of Jesus, sacred temple of God. Heart of Jesus, tabernacle of most high. Heart of Jesus, house of God and gate of heaven. Heart of Jesus, burning furnace of charity. Heart of Jesus, abode of justice and love. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love. Heart of Jesus, abyss of all virtues. Heart of Jesus, most worthy of all praise. Heart of Jesus, King and center of all hearts. Heart of Jesus, in whom all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Heart of Jesus, in whom dwells the fullness of divinity. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased. Heart of Jesus, in whose fullness we have all received. Heart of Jesus, desire of the everlasting hills. Heart of Jesus, patient and most merciful. Heart of Jesus, enriching all who invoke you. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness. Heart of Jesus, propitiation for our sins. Heart of Jesus, loaded down with reproaches. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our offenses. Heart of Jesus, obedient to death. Heart of Jesus, pierced with the lambs. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection. Heart of Jesus, victim of sin. Heart of Jesus, salvation of those who trust in you. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die in you. Heart of Jesus, the light of all the saints. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Jesus, meek and humble of heart. Almighty and eternal God, look upon the heart of your dearly beloved Son, and upon the praise and satisfaction he offers you in behalf of sinners, and being appeased, grant heart to those who seek your mercy. In the name of the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, world without end. Remember our Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was a nun, that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, sought your intercession, was left to name. Inspired by this comment, I fly to you, O Virgin of Virgin, my mother. To you do I come, before you are sin, sinful and sorrow. O Mother of the Word of Karma, despise the mind of petition, but in your mercy, hear an answer. Amen. Prayer for vocation. Heavenly Father, bless your church with the abundance of holy and zealous priests, deacons, brothers, and sisters. Give those who are called to the marriage day, those who have chosen to live as single persons in the world, the special grace that divides the world. Form us all in the likeness of your Son, so that in Him, with Him, and through Him, we may love you more deeply, serve you more faithfully, always and everywhere. With Mary, we ask that through Christ our Lord. We will now say the rosary for vocations. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church. The communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Jesus asked his apostles to pray so that they might not enter into temptation. Our Lord knew they needed to pray in order to endure what would soon happen. Let us offer this decade for those men and women whom God is calling to be priests and religious that they may have a deep and abiding life of prayer. Through the strength given to them through their spiritual life, may they respond courageously to God's call. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, for without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Our Lord suffering during the scourging was excruciating. For our sake, Jesus offered himself to obtain our salvation. Let us offer this decade for the grace that many young people might feel the desire in their hearts to offer themselves to God as priests and religious. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Jesus endured the terrible ridicule and mockery of the soldiers, even to the point of accepting the painful crown of thorns. Let us offer this decade for those who have a calling to the priesthood or religious life, but find it difficult to say yes because of painful obstacles in their lives. May concern for human respect never stand in their way of following God's will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. On the way to Calvary, our Lord found comfort and assistance from a number of people, Simon of Cyrene, the women of Jerusalem, his mother, and Veronica. How much those acts of love must have meant to Jesus. Let us offer this decade for the grace to always support, with our prayers and sacrifices, those whom God is calling to become priests and religious. May God, may God find us seriously engaged in this very important postulate. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. My Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of our mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of Jesus. At the foot of the cross, there came into existence a new type of family. Before Jesus died, he entrusted to the maternal care of Mary all of humanity representing the person of the beloved disciple through the new covenant. The notion of family is greatly enlarged. It takes on a different dimension. Let us offer this decade for those who are being called but are being hesitant because of fears of not being able to have a family and live a lonely life. Help them, O oh Lord, so to see that in 
serving you as a priest of religion, their desires for family will indeed be completely fulfilled. Our Father, the Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Bless us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord of the Deed, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is through thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord of the Deed, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is through thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need the Lord. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. The day we cry for many children, the day we send them for silence, morning, waking, and coming to tears. And then, most gracious heaven, thy nice mercy towards us. And after this, O blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. O God, who is only God and Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the words of eternal life. For him we seek you, that we meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain, obtain what they promise, through the same Christ our Lord. May the divine assistance remain always with us. And may the souls of the faithful depart, and the mercy of God rest in peace. For the intentions of the Holy Father, our Father, Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.